Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Episode Tarek and I got a bonus episode of our Mr. FPJ DE10 Nano series today because over the weekend SRG320 updated the core with a new build and we have a brand new core for April which is absolutely outstanding. Not only does it say that SRG320 is currently okay, he's also working on Saturn and we have a brand new build to talk about and it's going to be awesome. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor down below, hit like and subscribe and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, i got a Patreon link down below as well. But of course, with a new core build, there's always going to be one game on most people's minds, mine included, to see if it works or not. And that is the Saturn version of Symphony of the Night, known as Nocturne in the Moonlight. And I will tell you right now, it is 100% working, at least through what I played through, on the current core build. And I will show you in just a moment how to install that core, as well as the Mr. Unstable main, so you can start testing the new Saturn core today. But people have been waiting a long time patiently and excitedly for a new Sega Saturn core and it is here and of course this is the first game I wanted to test. It is my preferred version of Symphony of the Night. Leave me a comment down below and tell me why that is wrong. But any game that lets you do Maria as a playthrough is definitely going to be my favorite. And it's so amazing to see it running on the core. I absolutely love it and I know a lot of you are too. But let's talk about how to install the core because it is not part of update all. If you go over to the main Mr. Discord under Unstable Nightlies, you're going to see builds for both a single and dual RAM Saturn build. I am testing the single RAM. If you guys want to see a dual RAM, let me know. You also need the most recent Mr. Main Unstable file, which is released on 3.26.2023. If this is not on your Mr. Installation, the current core is not going to work. I will show you how to install Mr. Unstable Main in just a moment. Trust me, it is very easy though, it's all drag and drop. If we go into our main Mr. Installation on the micro SD card, you're going to see a file that's just called Mr. There is no extension. This is what we're going to be changing out. I'm going to go ahead and paste that file into a folder on my desktop just for preservation purposes. Obviously, if you make a mistake, it's easy to reinstall Mr., but I'm doing this just as a backup. And my previous backup, if you have a .back file, you can just delete. You'll rename mister.mister.bak. That is your backup file. And then you will paste over the new unstable nightly. Just be aware that mister is looking for a file that is just called mister. So delete all the other data out of that file. And now you've installed unstable main. It is as simple as that. Just make sure that you're paying attention to your files and extensions so you know what you're doing. From there, we're going to grab that single SD RAM unstable nightly for the new Saturn core, and we're going to come over to underscore consoles. This is where all of the RBF files for the console cores go. You'll see I've got some from previous tests in there. Just go ahead and copy that file in, and we are now ready to play the core. Just remember, if this is your first time testing, you have to have the boot ROM in the Saturn folder, and this is where all your games are going to go as well. Now, I can't link you to the boot.rom folder, but if you're good at Google, you're gonna be able to find it. Just make sure that's in there, and then we'll go ahead and copy over whatever we want as far as games are concerned, obviously. I did this before I tested Saturn Symphony of the Night, so I'm copying it over now. As we get back into the game, you're gonna just see it works. It looks spectacular. The sound is great. The controls are exactly as I would expect. Now, of course, this is a very long game. This is a very new core. So it's quite possible that this freezes one, two, three, four hours into the game. And it's quite possible you can finish the entire game with no issues whatsoever. This is still the early days of the new core, so don't expect to be able to play anything from start to finish. Feel lucky if you're able to do so. But just seeing this run on Mr. is outstanding, and this is a very expensive game. I do have it in my collection from a long time ago, but if you want to buy a copy today, you're definitely going to want to bring your wallet and probably your friend's wallet too. But I know the first question is going to be, how does the new core sound and how does the soundtrack for Symphony of the Night sound? So go ahead and listen for like 45 seconds or so. I'll come back and show you more games that are working that didn't used to work and more games that just work. But enjoy the music because it is always amazing.
That sounds exactly as I expect it to. The soundtrack is absolutely amazing as it is Symphony of the Night, and all the sound effects sound exactly as you would want them to as well. I will say in my testing of Nocturne in the Moonlight, I can't find a single issue wrong with it, and the fact that it's running is a miracle in and of itself. Now let's move on to another game that I tested previously that I know works based on people telling me on Discord, and that is going to be the Saturn version of Twinkle Star Sprites. Absolutely spectacular game, and probably the best version to play, even over over the Neo Geo version, you know if I'm going to recommend a Saturn game over Neo Geo, it must be really good. And the cutscenes were stable as well, I just let this play until I hit start to bypass it, and there was no freezing whatsoever, but I did test some other games that still froze on FMV cutscenes, so that's still going to be a thing that happens. Just be aware that some games currently are loading very slowly. It took like 30 seconds of a black screen to get into Twinkle Star Sprites, and then from there everything worked perfectly fine, but give it a 30 second to a minute window. If you're just on a black screen, it might just be slow loading in the background. Don't automatically assume it is frozen. I will say the sound on this one, it's a little scratchy, it's a little rough, but we're kind of used to that with the current Saturn Core and the previous one, and I'm sure the sound's gonna get better in future updates. But I will say on the gameplay and graphical side, this is just looking and playing like you would expect Twinkle Star sprites to play, including all of the slowdown as well. That's just part of the experience, but it is playing how I remember it to, and I played an absolute ton of this game. That is why I'm featuring it on the new core build video. But let's talk about other features that are here that I'll be testing in more videos coming. You will see that there is cartridge support for 1 megabyte RAM and 4 megabyte RAM. That is the RAM expansion for the Sega Saturn, and that has now been incorporated into the core. Seems to be kind of working sometimes. Obviously, because it's a new core file, don't forget to configure your controller or else nothing's going to work whatsoever. I even make this mistake sometimes because I'm so used to playing one core when I install a new one. It just isn't there. But let's take a look at some other games, some we've featured before and some that we haven't yet. I looped back around to Earthworm Jim 2 because it's an absolutely spectacular game and it's one that I absolutely love playing on the Sega Saturn. And it is running at full speed and looks exactly as it should because last time I tested this on a previous core, it did have a lot of graphical glitches, but now it seems to be working much, much better. And of course, now that there's a new core, I'm going to go back through some of the most popular games and some of the games that just didn't work the first time I tested them and try them again because part of what you guys love about this series and what I love doing about it is watching the real-time progress be made. But you'll see there we put the pig down the chute and that's what you'd expect out of Earthworm Jim 2. And this granny on a wheelchair level just always gets me every single time but it's working as you would expect here. Moving on to another one, another great game is Gun Griffin 2. You guys are asking me to test this and I threw it in here on the new core build to check it out and I will say it is working really, really well. And this is pushing the Saturn's technical limits as well. It has a lot of different 3D polygonal models, a lot of different 2D effects like that smoke in the background. It is just taking the Saturn and making it do pretty much everything that is possible to do. And I will say on it, the core it is just working as i would expect there's a little bit of wibbliness in the skybox there but otherwise you can play this game it's running at full speed and it is a ton of fun and since we've already talked about three 2d games of course i wanted to incorporate some 3d tests in there as well because one of those things all of what the vdp 1 and 2 can do there are different features and just because one game works in 3d doesn't mean another one will and the same thing goes for 2d but this is another game that you can play today on the current core and it just works. It sounds great, it plays great, all of the polygonal models are exactly appearing as they should. It is just definitely a 10 out of 10 as far as the usability experience is concerned and the core actually running the game like a real Sega Saturn would. So if you're looking for a good 3D game to test, Gun Griffin 2 should be right on there on your list. And that's what I love so much about the evolutionary progress of Mr. and the Saturn Core, is every time a new core hits, we get to test more and see what's working. You get to see the real-time improvements and see games that didn't used to work before, and that is one of my favorite parts of this entire project, is kind of the work-in-progress nature of it. Now, a game that last time I tested it, I could not get it to load whatsoever, even though other people had had some success with it, is Wipeout XL. I had showed the original Wipeout earlier in the testing series, and that did work, but but I always had issues getting XL to boot, and I will say that is no longer the case whatsoever. 
but very fair warning, I'm absolutely terrible at wipeout. I do not jive with the entire left and right bumpers to try to get around the corners. So if you see me hitting the wall a lot, that's not because there's any control issues in the current core. That's just because I kind of suck at wipeout. Leave me a comment down below and tell me if you're better at it than I am. Most people probably are, but I've never been able to wrap my mind around having to turn in that way. Playing so many Sega arcade racing games, it's just not a mechanic I grew up with. It's not a mechanic I learned, and you'll see there. It is just not one that I understand. But what I do understand is the fact that this game now just works. It looks incredible. It sounds great. Everything's working as you would expect. And again, this is another 3D game for Saturn that definitely pushes the limits of the hardware. And it's so much fun to see this because Saturn could keep up in some ways with PlayStation 1 when it came to 3D. It just took really talented developers and coders to get it to that point. There's a lot of bad 3D on Saturn because it's not because the hardware couldn't do it. It's because developers just didn't understand the admittedly way more complex silicon on Saturn. Now on the FMV front though, because we talked about FMV freezing, Death Mask 100% works. This game is so weird, but the acting is incredible in a cheesy way. Go ahead and listen for like 35 seconds and I'll come back and show you some more Saturn games. Attention all units, attention all units, be on the lookout for Angel Devoy. He was last seen heading down city to the Neo City Access Zone. Positive identification of criminal Angel Devoy. Proceed with extreme caution, Detective Hard. Death Mask is such a weird game, but it's also a very intriguing game and one that I think you should check out because it's definitely of a time and place in the 90s when FMV gaming was a huge thing, but it's also a really good test because in previous cores, FMV video, often the rule of thumb was you hit start like it owes you money until you bypass that FMV or else it could cause freezing on the Saturn core. With the new build of testing this game, everything ran smoothly and obviously you can see in real time how this transitions between one FMV v cutscene to another it's definitely a very archaic game it's an old style game if you grew up with dos or windows 3.1 or 95 back in the day you're going to remember playing a ton of games like this but they did exist on the sega saturn as well and it's a fun game to test because like i said fmv is a big part of the 32-bit generation and the fact that fmv had some freezing issues before meant that sometimes games like this either wouldn't work or would just freeze but I will say from a stylistic future kind of cyberpunk aesthetic as well, this is a really intriguing game and one that I highly recommend you do check out because it's kind of part and parcel what the Saturn did that wasn't 2D or 3D because just like PlayStation 1, there exists an entire subgenre of these FMV games on the hardware. And I love testing these as well because it is loading in a lot of data in real time. So if there's any hitches or any issues whatsoever, you would be able to see them. But again, just aesthetically, this game is an absolute trip. It is so weird. It's definitely from the 90s, and this is what people thought the future was going to look like in the 90s. Leave me a comment down below and tell me if this is what you wanted your future to look like, because some of these games take place basically in current times. Back in the 90s, they would just say, you know, 2024, and it is just the weird future. But obviously, the big rule of thumb is if a bartender that you've angered offers you a green glowing drink with smoke coming out of the top, it is a very, very stupid idea to drink it. This game will kill you in so many different and funny ways, and drinking this drink, ill-advised, even though a green drink with smoke coming out of the top of it is kind of the type of thing that I probably would want to drink, leave me a comment down below and tell me if you would drink it, because honestly, I'm not a very smart person. I might actually roll the dice and take it because it kind of did look intriguing. Now, one other game that I couldn't get to work before the current core that people kept asking me to test is Three Dirty Dwarves. Very weird title, very awesome beat-em-up, kind of feels more like a comedy version of Guardian Heroes, but it's one of those games that everyone always talks about on the Saturn, and it's one that I tried to show in testing many times. I could just not get it to boot, but with the current core you can see right here, I am playing it. It's smooth, it's fluid, the graphics look great, the sound is perfectly fine, everything is exactly as you would expect. And that's the most exciting part about getting a new core, outside of knowing the SRG320 is good with his current situation, is going in, checking out games that we didn't get the chance to play before. 
every time a new core comes out, my first thing that I want to do is test those games that froze to see if they're working. Especially with stuff like Nocturne in the Moonlight, it's such an awesome game, and it's one that so many people have been waiting to actually play on Mr. and I can't recommend it enough, but you will see here, all of the graphics in 2D, all of the lighting effects, all of the sprites, everything just looks exactly like if you were playing on real Saturn hardware, and that is what we want out of the core and what we are getting. We're getting a one-to-one -one recreation of the Sega Saturn, and it is amazing as what can work right now. But obviously, at the end of every video, I do my favorite game that I played from this testing series, and no surprise, that's going to go to Nocturne in the Moonlight. This is just a great version of the PlayStation original. I know some people like it less, and there are some mods out there that allow it to run better, but I tested just the original disc because if it didn't work with a mod, I wouldn't be able to say if it was the Mr. or not. But the new Sega Saturn core is here. You can download it today, and if you follow my tutorial, you'll be able to start testing and playing it as well. Obviously, I'm going to keep making these videos because we got a new core, and we can check out games that didn't work before, and revisit some classics to see if they're working better. But if there's anything you want me to test on the new core, leave me a comment down below. You know I take your guys' feedback and input, and usually end up testing about 9 out of 10 things you ask for. Short of that, I'll have another Mr. video on Thursday. I'll have videos throughout the week, but yeah. New Saturn Core is here. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.